Hi, I'm Michael. And I'm Stephanie. And this little guy is Isaac. We are in his room that we just finished painting with the Wild Jungle Safari Stencil Kit. We started out with this plain green room, and in just one weekend transformed it into an impressive Wild Jungle Safari. And this jungle design is great for both babies and boys and girls rooms. Keep watching to learn how quick and easy it will be for you to do it too. First let's go over some tools we'll be using. The Wild Jungle Safari Kit contains 33 large stencils, all of which are self-adhesive, so you just stick them to the wall and paint. It also includes a variety of brushes and some extra release paper for storing your stencils on. In addition to what comes with the kit, we'll also be using some chalk, paper plates, painter's tape, a small artist brush, and an assortment of acrylic paints. We've gone ahead and painted the room a nice blue color, which will become the sky in our jungle scene. You'll want to make sure to save some of your base coat for touch-ups later on. The scene we're about to paint has hills, so we want to consider where the furniture will be in the room. With a piece of chalk, I've lightly marked out where the major pieces will be. So now let's sketch the hills. The easiest way to paint hills is with a roller. If you want to add depth to your hills, you can darken your original green and paint some hills in the background. For practice, start with something simple like a cloud. After removing the paper backing, place the stencil on the wall and rub it down with your hand, making sure that all inner edges are down. Dip your brush into the paint, making sure not to get too much paint on the brush, otherwise it might bleed under the stencil. Two light coats work much better than one thick one. Use a padding or stabbing motion to paint, particularly around the edges. If you use a back and forth motion, the paint could work its way under the stencil. And you can use a hair dryer to speed things up. Once the paint is semi-dry, remove the stencil. It's that easy. Now that we've practiced with the cloud, we're going to start with the largest element, the trees. We'll paint these in first, then fill in the rest of the scene. In order for these larger stencils to hold their form, they require plastic bridges, which leaves some unpainted space. So when you're done, just go back and paint them in. It's a good idea to test the layout of your design prior to stenciling. Before peeling the paper backing off, tape the stencils on the wall. Try different variations and see what you like best. Now let's fill in the rest of the scene. There are three stencils on the kit that contain two layers. The giraffe, the zebra, and the tiger. Paint the body first and let dry. Then place the stencil containing the spots or stripes on top of the body and paint. If you get any bubbles while placing a stencil on the wall, just peel and restick. Make sure all of the outer edges are nice and square, and peel and restick the inner components as you work your way across the stencil. For some reason, black paint has a tendency to bleed, so take your time on the zebra stripes. Do very light coats, do several of them, and you'll be just fine. You can create depth in a scene by layering elements, such as painting this cloud behind the tree and the bird in front of the tree. And if you make a mistake, don't worry. Just paint over it. Touch-ups are easy. You can use scissors to cut away any extra plastic on the stencils. This will allow you to get closer to the baseboards or paint objects closer together at the same time. To make it easy to paint the eyes, we've included an outline of the animal heads with the eyes and some carbon paper. First, cut out the animal's head. Align the cutout with the painted animal on the wall and tape at the top. Place the carbon paper under the cutout, dark side down, and trace the eye with a ballpoint pen. Remove the cutout and carbon paper, and using the outline of the eye you just made, go back and paint it in. And here it is. Colorful, full of life, and simply spectacular. We've completely transformed this room in a single weekend. We hope this quick and easy method has inspired you to paint your child's room. And remember, at My Wonderful Walls, we make it easy for the walls to be wonderful.